Good day. This is C News on Gospel GH. I'm Justina Essel. In our first story, musician Grace Ashley has released a new song in honor of the latest Ghanaian footballer, Christian Achu. On February 6, 2023, Christian Achu met his untimely death in Turkey by an earthquake that killed thousands of people. The song, titled Nanti Ye, which also mentions the late Junior Agogo, was produced by Grace's new label, Seal Records. It was officially presented to Christian Achu's family before its release. Moving on, award-winning musician and songwriter Pastor Nanaya Obwache, also known as MOG Music, has announced the 2023 edition of New Wine Concert. MOG's flagship annual program this year is dubbed The Coming Glory and will take place on March 19 at the Oil Dome of Royal House Chapel International in Accra. Gospel artists such as Ohima Mercy, Uncle Ato, PSA Esther, Kofi Owusu Pepra, and Ella Duncan Williams have been confirmed for the much anticipated in person event. Keepers Music and Liberty Voices Square will also be ministering at the program. The 2023 edition will see the ministration of new singles on the Koinonia album Phase 2. In our next story, CT Praise. The Urban Contemporary Praise and Worship Ministry of the International Central Gospel Church, ICGC, Christ Temple, has released the first single from their upcoming debut album. The song, titled I Have Come Back, features Nigerian Gospel Minister Nathaniel Bassi and is a slow tempo worship tune that was recorded live at the ICGC Christ Temple East. The song's audio and visuals are available on all digital streaming platforms. Moving on, keyboardist Samuel Asari, popularly known as Ejayao, has passed. The very talented instrumentalist and sound engineer, known very much for his skill and dexterity in playing auxiliary keyboard, was reported dead on the 3rd of March 2023. News of his death has shocked the music fraternity and left his colleagues heartbroken. Ejayao played for almost all the top musicians in Ghana, including Elda Mreku, Mohima Mercy, Sonny Badu, Yao Sapon, Dinah Hamilton, Kweku Jesse, and many others. He hailed from Kumase and was married with kids. May his soul rest in perfect peace. And in our final story for today, singer Celestine Donko has spoken about how she met her husband and why every woman should pray for such a man for marriage. She revealed in an interview that she met her husband online and dated him for nearly a year before they officially met. She added that he had been a supporter and a source of strength for her on numerous occasions and she would wish for no other person than him every time. According to her, she met her husband 17 years ago, and he has been exceptional in guiding her through her musical journey. She added that what makes her story even more interesting is that her husband was recommended to her by a friend. That's all for C News today. Log on to our website, gospelgh.com, for more news in the Christendom, and connect with us on all our social media platforms at gospelgh.com.